Hello, everyone, and welcome to Oktoberfest. I mean, well, it's October, and we're going to play a horror game. So, as you can see by our delightful little image here, we're going to be playing some Fatal Frame. The first Fatal Frame, to be exact. And here goes nothing. If the thing wants to work. Uh, there we go. Yay. Okay. Okay. All is well. Alright. Let's start this baby up. Fatal frame time. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. Yes. Psychic powers are a prerequisite for any person in a Fatal Frame game. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. Where was their father? Okay, September 24th, 1986. A year after I was born. Okay, so... So this is Himuro Mansion. Spooktober. Yeah, that works. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist, and a man my brother was very indebted to, disappeared while researching a book. And sadly, there are no subtitles. Like, you can't put that subtitles on or off, so... When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts... He was going far away. The forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Yeah, and also this game is not going to have the best voice acting. Uh, you know, again, just, uh, wait. It, it, it's early. This game was done in, uh, 2001. It was released in 2001, 2002. Uh, I think 2001 in Japan, then 2002 for us, uh, in the West. Box of film on the floor. Type 14 film. Camera controls one. And basically tutorial, you know, holding the camera, press the circle button to take shooting stance, and enter the finder mode. You can take photos with the X or R1 buttons while in finder mode. Okay. While in finder mode, you can control the player's viewpoint with the left analog stick, square button, move finder quickly, triangle to turn around. So, yeah, it had some quality of life to it, but not as good as the later games. See if anything's back here. Nope. I yeah, it's just I you know he doesn't play like a huge role, so I guess they didn't care. I mean, he's supposed to be like I think he's kind of psychic too, and he's in a creepy place. Like maybe that's just how they talk. Like I don't know. 
But I think it's just bad acting because, you know, voice acting was still relatively new at this time and video games did not have the, oops, uh, best voice acting ever. Yeah, you don't really get points in this, like, until later, I think, or maybe not at all. You just fill out a catalog, which kind of, again, you'll see a lot of, like, quality of life stuff missing from this game. Still a good game, just, you know, quality of life stuff's missing. I always wonder, okay, like, you hear the background, like, the, oh, oh, oh. Like, in the background, like, I wonder if the characters hear that, or that's just ambient noise for the player to kind of creep us out. Because, I mean, if I heard that in real life, like, if I entered a house and that's what I heard, I'd be creeped out. Like, I'd probably leave, honestly. If I walked into a house and I heard, oh, 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 oh. Like, yeah, that, that would, that would creep me out pretty badly. Okay. Feel vibration and some sort of, like, uh, thing. And usually that means there's something hidden here. Okay, here we are. It doesn't tell me that, but I've played Fatal, I've played pretty much every Fatal Frame game and that's how it works. And yeah, like, oh, the other thing I wanted to address before I got too far into it. This says, uh, in the title screen, you might have noticed it says, like, based on a true story. Uh, no. <laughs> like, it's such BS. Like, this was, like, so loosely based on anything. It just, like, it wasn't based on a true story at all. It was just, yeah. Some people disappeared in a mansion with maybe a ritual. Like, that was about the end of that. Like, that wasn't really, like, they... I think they just put based on a true story to make it seem, like, scarier, but I don't... As far as I know, like, from what I've researched, that's not the case at all. This notebook... It's Mr. Takamine's. Uh. Again, does anyone hear that, or just, just me? Yeah. That was Mr. Takamine, so he did come here. Hey, controller, can you like not be stupid? That'd be great. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, okay. Hi. Um, I don't think it liked that. Wait, what's Cocaine Bear? I never heard Cocaine Bear. I, but I agree with Shad. It was like the story was truly told, but I, the story itself was false. Okay, shooting ghosts. Shooting ghosts. Uh, hold up the camera with the circle button. Press the shutter with the X button to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, uh, power, mystical power accumulates. Why, why they... Why didn't they just say mystical power instead of power and then parentheses, whatever. Fine. Uh, the damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. While you have the ghost in your viewfinder and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during a shutter bug moment. I keep... Triangle was the button for the camera, like... 
in the later games. So, ah, hey, hands off. things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. And we will never know what that incident was. Now I think you do learn later. Whoa, hey. And yeah, no way I'm getting that shot. I think I was supposed to head downstairs and capture it and I didn't. My bad. Yeah, like I said, I bet, like, the if there was any truth to it, it's probably, like, some people disappeared near a mansion. And that was, like, the end of the truth. And everything else is just total BS. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll definitely have to watch Cocaine Bear trailer, like, sometime. I should just do, like, a stream of, like, me doing random stuff like that. Like, reacting to random videos and stuff. That would be fun. Hello, Jen. Glad you can make it. You're not too late, so you're good. Okay. Do I go back to the... Okay. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. Okay, yeah. And door just randomly closed. Goody. That, that's not ominous at all. Uh-oh. Sensing something behind me. Slow turnaround. All the horror movie tropes. It's been two weeks since I last heard from my brother. But he left a note that led me to this place. Dear sister, going to I dangerous mansion. Be back soon. Sorry. was calling me. And we are not in black and white anymore, people. We've gotten upgraded to color. My brother was here. Yes, he was. Okay, little girl, run, run. Did someone just... Yeah, someone said something. Run away. Any little girl. Anytime there's a little girl speaking, anytime in a horror thing, run away. She's evil or something. Like hor like horror and little girls. That's ooh. There's always a little girl in in like the best horror things. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, I can go over here. Dooby dooby doo. Okay. And these little camera pedestals are the save. So let's save now. That we've gotten out of black and white territory. Create a new game data. Yes, please. Okay. There we go.
Well, yeah, but you can't have the whole game in black and white, Quill. That wouldn't work. I mean, I guess it's creepier, but... It would just be kind of sucky, the, the whole game being in black and white, I think. I don't think it would work. Whoa! Oh, hey, there was something over there. What was up with this? Okay, ropes. Got it. Well, if- wait, a little girl's not gonna be in a rom-com, Shannara. Okay, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. <sighs> Research notes. September 12th. Now there's another rope. And another rope! Okay. That's- not exactly research notes, but okay, thank you. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I that 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 happens in rom coms, I guess. I don't watch a lot of rom coms, they're not really my thing, but yeah. I guess kids in romantic comedies are okay. But yeah. I don't think being in this house, uh, you're gonna think you're in a romantic comedy though. You're definitely gonna know you're in a horror. Dilapidated house and romantic comedy don't mix. There's the camera. That's a long time, Jen. Whoa, lots of hands. Blah. Yeah. Okay, scary. Miku. Did something happen to my brother? Probably a safe bet, yeah. Blah. I picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mom's old camera. My brother had this with him. Okay. I found a new note inside Mafuyu's notebook. Mafuyu's notebook. Himuro Mansion Investigation. Himuro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the Himono family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Yeah, that's definitely true. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamine and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. I mean, you're in a hallway with a bunch of ropes hanging from it. I would say the ropes are definitely more scary than the mi than the mirror. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. See, definitely makes the ropes way more creepy. Boarded up door. Okay, can't go that way. No way, Yui's mo way smaller than- Yui was, like, you know, prettier than that little girl. And now that she wasn't wearing a kimono either, so, no. But, yeah. Point made. Okay, let's look around here. Oh, hello. Shiny thing. 
There's a lion mask on the chest of drawers. There's a medicine container near the ornamental lion mask. Cool. Okay. Anything else in these drawers? Oh, okay. Black notebook scrap. Plot of my next work by Jinsei Takamine. A series of murders in a country village. Dead bodies turn up one after another. Murders that resemble cruel Shinto rituals of legend in the area. The acts of a man sworn to revenge and the strange correlation between those acts and the folklore. The man is gradually more and more influenced by the legends. The work will be the story of this man, proceeding in parallel with the tales of the local lure. Records of the past discovered after an earthquake. The story gradually blurs the boundary between the present and the past. July 24th. About Himuro Mansion. No. About Himuro Mansion. Himuro Mansion is known as the home of a large landowner that controlled this region, but they say it was originally the place a shrine was built for performing a certain Shinto ritual passed down through the generations. But the people of that time kept the ritual a deep, dark secret. They were often forbidden to speak its name aloud. Today, almost no accounts of the ritual exist, aside from a smattering of folklore legends. You know, I do, like, kind of, well, I kind of wonder if anything like that existed. Like, I know there were some dark, like, Shinto rituals, like, a long time ago, but I wonder if they were, like, ever, you know, hardcore, like, Shinto sacrifice, like, stuff, like, in these games. I mean, Fatal Frame 2, uh, you know, if you, if you, anyone saw those streams, was that, you know, one twin sacrificed the other and they threw her in a pit, which was the connecting, uh, valley to hell. So, and that was another one where they weren't allowed to talk about it. Oh, okay, there's a news clipping, too. The earthquake the other day destroyed all five mirrors, the holy mirrors, which were artifacts kept for centuries in the five shrines. These mirrors represent the five gods' protection over this region. Most commonly known for the five gods festival held every ten years, when all five mirrors gather in one shrine. The priests of the shrine hope that this isn't a bad omen. Maybe even in Japan it's a bad omen, I don't know. Hello, Crumb. Or Khan, or... Yeah, well... Hello. Good to see you. Ooh. Ah. Nah. Nah, I missed it. I was so close. Oh, wait, I got it. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I don't think this has uh, as much film delay. Maybe it does. I don't know if film delay became a big thing in these games. I think just film power, or in this one, anyway. I don't really remember. Okay, Chrome it is then. Uh, let's see. Take a look, see in here, since I seem to. Oh, and that other, like, uh, you know, Jinsei Takamine's book. Why was that just, like, in a drawer in this house? Like, unless it was just, like, on top of this the surface, but then why wouldn't he be carrying it with him? Like, I get it's for, you know, uh, lore, developing the game world and everything, but kind of weird. Like, yeah. Uh, old books. They're about dark rituals. Did they belong to the man that lived here? Okay. Nope. Aren't any books of real interest here. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Alright, shiny thing. Yay, some Type 14 film. Yeah, I do like the number. I assume you mean, like, on the film, like, the the film number. The 57 right there. And yeah. And it has these Japanese symbols at the bottom, so when you uh, get power. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, you know how horror games were back in the day, Shan? Now, horror games back in the day were very unrefined as far as their controls, so tank controls were pretty typical. 
It's locked. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there. <laughs> your credit card, huh? Yeah, no, I don't think I found your credit card, <laughs> Jen. Looks like there's something here. Okay, let's see if there's any. Is there anything in the drawers? Okay. There's something on the floor. More herbal medicine. The more the merrier with that stuff. I mean, the beginning of the game's not too hard, as I, if I remember properly, but it'll get harder. I remember, like, a good bit of the beginning, but I don't remember all of it. Yeah. Ah. Meh. Yeah, I didn't quite get that one. Yeah, exactly, Shad. Most of them, you know, were inspired by Alone in the Dark, so. Ugh. Okay. Hi. It looks like her finger had ink on it or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Should I take a photo? And of course she's gone. Camera controls too. In finder mode, you can see things that can't be seen with a naked eye. It should be the naked eye, shouldn't it? Anyway. Try taking a photo if the controller vibrates or you hear strange noises. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, yeah. Oh. No folding screen in the photo. A door appears where the screen should be. Okay. So, yeah. Now we check. So as you can see, that's the mechanic. You kind of try to match the environment to whatever the photo took. There seems to be a hidden door behind the folding screen. Yep. Oh, hey. Floating fire. Hi. Hi, it's the guy from before. The guy who was talking about ropes. Well, one of the people talking about ropes. Ropes are a big thing in this game. You'll probably get sick of hearing the word rope. <laughs> yeah, Alone in the Dark was good for its time. Okay, door here. I'm gonna tap the rest of this hallway. Shake of completion. Okay, here's the closet. Held by a powerful force. Okay, can't go in there. Uh, this is barred. Okay, so. Heh. <laughs> oh, goody. Now we're using Ocarina of Time puns. Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's up here. Small piece of paper on the chest. It looks like a news clipping. Okay. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himuro Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police is investigating. Okay, it should be are investigating. See, that's kind of what I meant about, like, you know, some of the translation stuff. It's not good. Like, they kind of messed up a bit, like, in some things. Uh, the police are investigating the case as both a murder and an accident. Wait, how would it be an accident when limbs are, like, how would you, okay, maybe, like, falling from a mountain could sever, like, one or two limbs, but, like, all of them? That sounds like one hell of an accident. <laughs> oh, God, Shan, now we're very punny. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, everybody roped me into this, indeed. Anyway. The body has not been identified, but it is believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police is also taking into... Yeah, again, weird. Police are also taking into consideration that the body... Wait. The fact that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same location 15 years ago. There we go. Yeah, sorry, the grammatical errors kind of... Oh god, Shan, no. Okay, this is supposed to be scary and you guys are making like a million puns. Okay, let me just check something really quickly. Uh, huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Just double checking. Wanted to make sure the visual settings were okay, because some of them looked a bit weird. Like, but yeah, they should be fine. I tested this before I started. What's this thingy here? Box of film. Cool. Type 37. Won't be using that for a while, but... Alright, what's in here? Ah! Mmm, you might be right about that one, Shannara. Your puns are scarily bad. Ah. Uh, really? You're gonna hide in the closet? I don't know if I'd hide in the closet. Especially from a ghost. I mean, they could just go through it. Yeah. Oh, you are dead. You are dead. Dead, dead. Yeah. Eek, indeed. What was that? I know, right? Like, I would... Yeah, she seems, like, really flat. Like, the mirror seemed to scare her more. You're kind of right. Found a tape recorder in the closet. Tape recorder. It's covered with dust, but it seems to work. Oh, and, uh, for those of you youngins in the audience that don't remember how cassette tapes used to work, when the batteries were gonna die in a tape recorder, um the tape would play similar to that background noise. Like, the, the voices would get really deep. It would play in slow motion, basically. Like, when the batteries were dying. Like, in a Walkman or something like that. So, that's part of why it sounds like that. And also just for scary ambiance. Okay. Let's see what's on this audio tape here. September 9th, 5.40 p.m. The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. Yeah, now you know why. Except, too bad you're dead, but yeah. Well, of course, Shan, you know, yeah, if you saw a ghost in real life, yeah, of course, that's fake. Or at least, like, you're probably hallucinating nine times out of ten, so, yeah, fair enough. Okay, let's see. Mm 
Anything here? No. Ghosty? Oh, hey. Shiny. Cool. Oh, hey. Nah, I missed it. I'm, I kind of pointed it at him. It should have caught it, but I guess not. Alright. What'd you leave? That! Yeah. Yeah, Shannara is right about that too. Sometimes the tape would just get stuck in the recorder and there'd be a mess, so yeah. Ah. Okay, first real ghost fight, people. Ah. Um, don't think I can. There we go, gotcha. Okay, yeah, that was uh, kind of scary. Not too scary. The camera seal. Oh, okay, power ups. You can acquire mystical power by damaging ghosts. Select camera from the menu screen. To access the power-up screen, you can unlock the seal on the camera with the accumulative mystical power and power-up. When you unlock auxiliary, auxiliary function seal, eh, whatever, uh, you enable many special attacks. To use the enabled auxiliary functions, press the L1 button while in a shooting stance, the number of auxiliary functions you can use is limited to the number of spirit stones in your inventory, so be frugal. Oh yeah, that stupid thing. That was kind of, I think that was a bad uh, mechanic, and they got rid of it in two, thankfully. Because yeah, that was kind of dumb. Before you just had, to, like, in two they changed it so that you just had to kind of, like, get enough power, like, charge up enough power points or something like into the auxiliary functions to work it. Yeah, this needs spirit stones. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing, but I kind of prefer the way they did it in 2 and 3. Alright, so there's more scraps. Oh wait, no. That was just... Okay, white tape too. Alright. Let's check if I can do anything with the camera. Basic performance... How much does that take? Speeds up charge time for mystical power. No. Insufficient points. Oh yeah, because I need... Two. Well, that one just... Oh, this one needs 4,000. This one needs 2,000. Okay, so I can speed up the charge time. Increase the maximum... Of, I mean, nah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Bonus function. Pressure p power up. Slow C. Paralyze. Uh, I'll probably wait and save up so I can get like a paralyze or search. Because those are really good. So, special function. Yeah, none of those yet. You unlock those in the game. If, as I rem if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Okay. Now we go see what White Tape 2 is capable of. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. 
I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. And yeah, I would agree that uh, a ghost saying, help me, help me, is not as scary as it is kind of sad and like, you know. I'd be kind of nervous, maybe, but not like scared of the ghost itself. Like, yeah, I would feel more pity or something, like... I would feel scared of that ghost, is the point, though. Okay, it seems like there should be something around here somewhere. Nope, okay, something's going on. So, is there something here, too, or...? Just the mirror. Hey, something shows in the photo. It looks like the lion mask near the t sunken fireplace. Okay, easy peasy. Yeah, these puzzles aren't too hard, like in the beginning, of course. Again, the beginning of the game is pretty easy. Oh, now, now I hear something that's like around this area. Okay, let's see. If I can get near it. There it is. Woman in kimono with no space again, because game. Alright, let me, uh, I want to see if that gave me any points. Oh, I guess it does, because I think I didn't have the amount of points, so I guess, like, um,. Shooting those types of uh, ghosts and stuff, like the like the screenshot kind of ghosts, like the ones for the album. I guess they do give me points. They just don't show it like it does in later games. Okay, so back to the sunken fireplace. Dooby dooby doo. I mean, demons are usually, like, thought of as, like, things that are either mischievous or harmful. So, like, yeah, kind of like Jen said, like, they want to, you know, they have hatred. They want to hurt people. Uh-oh. You're incoming. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Yeah, that was kind of, I don't know if I'd say woman in kimono exactly, but okay. I mean, that's, you know, kind of like demons and vampires are like, you gotta, you gotta like go into the same territory about the whole, you know, demons feeding on energy thing and then vampires kind of do the same thing. And yeah, if you just like reached inside my body like as a as an ethereal creature and then I look 
act and like saw some smiling like demon yeah that that would scare that would scare anybody i think i found a red hand mirror inside the ornamental lion mask i got the red hand mirror okay back to the room again Hello. Okay, there's something in the closet. What's in there? Can I open it this time? Yeah, I think the demon reaching inside your chest, or the, the thing reaching inside your chest is way more scary than help me. Help me is just kind of pitiful. And yeah, there was like nothing here. Oh, now there's a shiny over here. Okay. So I guess it just wanted me to come over here and get herbal medicine because reasons. But like, there's something in the closet. What? No? Okay. Like, there's something here. Game? What, what, what the Kubo? Is there something here I'm not seeing? I'm not, I'm not, yeah, there's nothing here. And yet, like, it made me come here, just because reasons. Alright, sure. Well, I mean, like, the thing, you know, helped me and all that is, like, you know, a lot of ghost stories and things like that kind of have this idea of ghosts saying, like, the last things that they were saying, like, right before they died. Ah! Hello. More floating than standing, but sure, we'll go with it. Hmm. Friggin' jump scares. Kinda glad when games got over the whole jump scare thing, because I think it's kinda tacky, but, you know, sometimes they work. Yeah, but you can't go, like, freaking scary constantly. Like, eventually you're gonna, like, probably exhaust the player. And it might just get annoying after a while. Or people will be too scared to play your game. Either way, I'm not really sure. So I think Eerie, like, kind of keeping it on Eerie mode for most of the game is probably the better way of doing it, just from, like, you know, a narrative standpoint. But, yeah. Okay, mirror in the mirror stand has been removed. So, mirror in, hello. It's that person I just saw. <gasps> Wait, why is there a picture of him the in monks. there? Okay, there's a photo of the editor, weirdly, and there's ropes around him in the picture. But yeah, they kind of look weird and ethereal, I guess. But why would there... Eh. Logic does not exist in this house. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Quill, that sounds horrible. Like, I wasn't really thinking, like, I wasn't thinking it that way, like... I mean, maybe you would if that was, like, your regret. Like, you regret that, like, your last moments were working at McDonald's, so then you're just stuck going, want fries with that? Like, just terrified? Like, I, that, god, that sounds horrible. That sounds more awful than help me, honestly. <laughs> okay, I got the brass key. I wonder if it's a key to some door. Ah! Aw, oh, come on, I almost had it. Okay, now I gotta do this again. Where are you? Ooh, ah, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Come here. There we go. Ah! 
that? Good. Yeah, that was an oops. And I noticed there's like a slight graphical issue going on. Um, hold on, I wanna, I'm just gonna test something really quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try this, maybe? I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. Now it's fixed. I don't know what the problem was, but yeah. Now we can. Now I can actually see the ghost better. Cause yeah, there was a technical issue going on. I had it fixed before, and then it just went back to weirdness. Okay, Jen, but which is the bigger L? Can't blame you there. So which is the bigger L? Wanting fries before you die or serving fries before you die? That's the real question here. Okay, there's something shiny where the ghost stood. Spirit stone. All right. So now I get that. And while we're on that question, I will be right back. And maybe you guys will see the weird haunting uh, screen on the boss screen. Hmm, I guess not. I know it'll do- it'll kind of do something if you, uh, leave it idle for a bit. Just not sure how long that little bit is. And yeah, like, I, I love how this turned in to, like, a really, like, this is supposed to be scary, and, like, there's been, like, 10 million jokes, Pat, like, made. It really should be, now that you mention it. Yeah, like, a dead McDonald's employee or something, or, like, a comedic true, uh, ghost duo, like, a ghost comedian and a ghost straight man. Oh god, that would be weird. 
Dude, I want to I want to show the freaking like idle screen. Come on, game. Nah, I guess I should just go. Basically, you get bloody handprints and stuff. I mean, it's not special. I just thought, like, you know. Nah, it's not the scariest thing. I just like the storyline and stuff. Like, I like the whole thing about the Shinto ritual and, you know, just kind of that sort of angle to it. It's just different. Then, you know, ooh, zombies or ooh, uh, you know. Actually, like, so many horror games are zombies. So, like... That's why I like the Fatal Frame games. It's not just, oh yeah, zombies. It's also like, you're not killing things with guns, either. Like, killing things with a camera is pretty interesting. You know, as mechanics go, I would say that's a more interesting way of doing things than... Okay, it looks like there should be something here. Because the character's looking down, that means there's usually something there. Yay, Type 14 film. Okay. I want to go back and save, just, like, in case anything goes wrong. Because I'm not going to do uh, save states or anything, or I'm going to, like, really try not to. I am mad at myself I got hit that one time, but, oh well, things happen. Oh yeah, and these save states also will let you stock up on Type 14 film if you have less than, I think 50 or 40, I'm not sure what it is. I can't remember if it's 50 or 40, but yeah, if you have, you know, less than that, you can stock up on film, because that's like your lowest quality film. Which is nice, because you need film for everything, so yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's why I would watch a dr the Dracula Untold movie, too, is because, like, at least they, you know, made it different. And, uh, yeah, of course, Dracula Dead and Loving It. That, that was great. I love that movie. Black padlock on the door. Use the brass key? Yes. Okay. Open sesame. Okay. An old book. Here we go. Research scrap. Secret rituals of the Himoto family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through generations of the Himuro family. Oh, Himuro family. Most of them are lost. The only things we have left now are some documents that record these rituals as a legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuro family members are dead, and those who were close to the family have kept quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular, performed on December 13th, is shrouded in mystery. People who live near a ma the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it is considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual, but the truth remains unknown. Okay, so we got that. I don't really say who, re who wrote that. Okay, old desk. It looks like there should be something here, the way the character's looking. I'm trying to see... Okay, it's something... I mean, I see that. Okay, let's see. Anything here? No. I see this. Okay, shiny. Herbal medicine. Nice. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like there should be something under the desk. 
but I can't see anything else. Like, uh, I see that maybe in the camera. Yeah, not seeing anything under the desk. It looks like I should be able to have something under there, but just not. Or maybe something in this thing, or... Huh. Check the kimono, maybe? No? I mean, there's a door here. Let's see. Okay, there's a freaking th save thing right here, too. I'm dumb. Okay. Uh, let's see what's over here first. Uh, <laughs> check the rest of the room. Okay, there's boarded up area. Door here. Okay. Okay, that looks like a pretty big hallway. Is there a map? Yeah, map. Okay, so. Yeah, there's that. And then this is. Okay, you're a balcony, it looks like. I remember some of this layout, but not all of it. I, did I see some, a shadow in the window? I thought I did for like a split second. And now we're going to Inuyasha. <laughs> okay. Gone from like weird ghost comedy to anime and other weirdness. Welcome to welcome to my uh, YouTube streams, people. This this is my audience, and I'm happy to have them. Okay, let's go in this uh, save room here. See what's in here. If anything, oh, there's a shiny. And see what's in here. Okay. Drawer, drawers that won't open. Shiny thing, of course. Oh, audio tape. Okay. Red tape one. Okay. Let's see what else is here real quick. Before I play the tape. Several pieces of notebook scrap. And now, yeah, red notebook scrap. August 20th. It seems a folklorist named Ryozo Munakata was studying about the various rituals passed down at Himuro Mansion. He was su he supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in a library somewhere. August 30th. I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ogata from the editing department do a research or do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it, though. Okay. And this was the 80s, so, yeah, we're not, like, doing any internet searches. Ah, more film. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so we got that. And tiny door that's nailed shut. Okay, can't go in there. Okay, so now that uh, we've gotten that out of the way, let's play what's uh, on this red tape. September 10th, 10.20 a.m. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist's children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Her eyes look like she's making a silent accusation? That sounds kind of paranoid. How do your eyes accuse someone? Like, can you do that? I mean, I know I'm not, like, exactly great on facial expressions, but 
That seems kind of far-fetched that someone can, like, have eyes that accuse you. Or, like, have any facial expression that is making an accu- a silent accusation. Maybe it's kind of like, I know your secret kind of look. Like, maybe it's something that's supposed to be like that. I guess I could see that. <laughs> Early text to speech, huh? Okay, that's um that that's one theory, I suppose. Okay, so yeah, went through here, went through here. And then now so now we just have one more area to go through. That's to go through this to the hallway. <laughs> well, I mean it's a photo, you can look at it as long as you want. I mean, I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess accusatory looks could be a thing, but I'm not really sure, like, what that would look like entirely is my thing. Oh, cool, more Type 37 film, nice. Well, hello. Okay, you didn't want to come, your instincts told you not to. Yeah. Your instincts were right. See, at least she sounds scared. Like, some of the others just sounded flat. This one at least sounds kind of scared. Okay, more red notebook scrap. August 27th. The more I found out about Himura Mansion, the creepier it gets. I'm sure it's the perfect subject matter for Mr. Takamine's next book, but to be perfectly honest, I don't like the assignment one bit. It gives me a bad feeling. There's no way I want to go to that mansion, but it's my job, right? I guess I'll have to go. And I wouldn't want to waste the chance to work with Mr. Takamine just because of a little bit of uneasiness either. It doesn't help that I have this sixth sense to the supernatural either. There's such a thing as knowing too much sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. More herbal medicine? Cool. The door is stuck fast. I tried pulling on it, but it won't budge. Okay. Can't open the door. So, I guess I have to go to this way then. Down the stairs. Yeah, I will. Not for you. Uh-oh. Something's coming. Uh... Ah! That... Yeah, okay, that was bad. Ah! Hands off! Good thing I saved, because, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. I had that shutter moment. There we go. Got one. Really? Huh. Gotcha. 
Yeah, that apparently wants me to give something back that I don't know what it is. Okay. Where am I? Okay. Huh. I mean, I guess here's as good a place to look as any. More red notebook scrap. September 10th, 8 p.m. I clearly saw the image of a woman in front of the mirror near the entrance. She had long hair and a white kimono. There were ropes tied to her arms and legs, and she dragged them along when she walked. I think I heard Koji talking about something like that, too. There's something very wrong about this mansion. Yep, I would agree with that. Like there's can I Okay no Okay, some more film, cool, because I just use some. Score sacred water, nice. Uh, I think she is a boss fight later, Jen, if I'm remembering correctly. Because a lot of ghosts like appear uh, multiple times and then eventually you get them later on, like as a full boss fight. Okay, what are you? Your floaty thingy. Hi. Two hits, nice. Go me. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong about the mansion where ghosts attacking you. Does that close on their own? <laughs> Doors that close on their own and screams are constantly, you think? <laughs> yeah, I... exactly. That's why I said at the beginning of the game, like, you know, do they hear the... Like, do, do people hear that or is that just for the player? Like, I have to wonder that. Okay, so let's see what's here. Okay, this is a lock that I... Okay. Grieving. Can barely make out. The Shinto ritual strangling held on the day of. Huh. I mean, I could probably guess, but, you know... I mean, they did mention about December 13th, so I think it might be that, but I'll, you know, wait and see if I can get the password properly. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, there's something. Scroll. Oh, okay, see, this is probably the password I needed. Strangling ritual. On the 13th day of the 12th month, a maiden cut off from the outside world for 3,669 er, 3, long days shall be torn apart to provide power for the rope. Ooh, okay, that's gruesome. This is definitely not for kids, YouTube. <laughs> girl is trying to say something important. I mean, yeah, very likely. Yep, 
that Kimono Lady probably is the one that, like, had something done to her and she's pissed now. Something like that. I mean, we did see someone with the kimono and a bunch of hands coming out after, Ma you know, going after Mafuyu in the beginning. So, yeah. Okay. September 11th, 6.30 a.m. I saw that woman in the white kimono again. She's trying to tell me something. She knows I have this special sense for ghostly things. The woman's name is Kyrie. So, it's Kyrie, huh? I shouldn't get any closer than this. I don't want to get any closer. I'm scared. And I'll blame you. I would be too. But, you know, you're kind of here now, so... There's a box. I saw a shiny here. Okay, there we go. Spirit sound. And then this is here. Okay. So seal on the door. Some other place shows in the photo. I wonder if there's something there. Okay. This area, I would imagine, is uh, the part that's locked by the password door. Oh wait, there's this door too. Um, okay. It's in here. Let's see. Oh, save point. Cool. Okay, black notebook scrap this time. Uh, September 13th, 9.30 a.m. We found Ogata's body. His head, hands, and feet were strangled off. What happened to him is just like the strange deaths that occurred there, here, no, here long ago. There was a photo of Ogata near him. In it, there was something that looked like ropes on his neck, arms, and legs. I wonder if it has anything to do with the rope shrine maidens and the legends around here. The girls that had ropes tied to their neck, arms, and legs, too? September 13th, 12.10pm. Tomoe is acting strangely. She's been mumbling nonsense all morning. Something about ropes and mirrors. I can't blame her for going to pieces, though, after seeing what happened to Ogata. I mean, yeah, uh, that's... When you see somebody you know die, and especially in that type of way. An old scroll, five stones document. Give thanks to the five gods' protection. Place the stone representing the five mirrors in the correct location. Okay, that's vague. Yeah, this is closed and the key lock shattered, so yeah, that's not happening. news article. On the night of the 3rd, the police received a report that four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. There is an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villagers indeed suspect that is what happened to the four kids. Oh goody, kids are spirited away now. Ahahaha, <laughs> yeah, okay, cute. <laughs> yeah, I guess it did kind of make that fun a bit. I don't think that was intentional, but point made. <laughs> uh, no, not there. Uh, at least I don't think so. I think this was the door, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
strangling ritual day. Yeah, shift day ritual strangling held on the day of. Okay, so. Um. I have to try to remember if this is clockwise or counterclockwise. I think it's supposed to be that this is one and this is nine. So let's see. The thir 13, 12, 3, 1, 2. There we go. So I was right. This is counterclockwise. The door unlocked. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the help. Still gonna check to see if there's stuff. Because it's a video game, so I have to check. Them's the rules. Okay, nothing in here, nothing in here. Okay, here's something. So wait, I came in there and the kid pointed over this this way? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the character's looking down here, so I'm trying to see, like, if there's something on this desk that is sacred water. I knew there was something here. Okay, another news article. The girl who has been missing for three days in the Himuro Mountain area and rumored to have been snatched away by ghosts has been found by a local man. She is fatigued but in good health. The police plan to wait for her recovery and ask her about the other three children. The girl's parents have also been missing the day wait also been missing the day after her I guess since the day after her disappearance. The police are looking for a foster home for the girl. Oh wow, that's quick. Like no family or anything? Damn. Like I, I maybe they just mean like a temporary thing, because yeah. That that's a foster home seems really like overly quick, but that could just be a translation issue. Oh yeah, these stairs. So there we go. Oh, hey, is that a what is that? Some weird thing. It's like a hand or something? I couldn't quite tell. But okay, yeah. Ghostly sense is done. Burn the seal. Cool. Just making sure there's nothing here. Can I go up these? I mean, if there's treasure, I want to get it. I mean, you do carry items over. And unlike Fatal Frame uh, 3, you, you know, keep, like, I mean, every, you know, you only play one person in this game, so. All your items carry over with you. Uh-oh. The disaster called the Calamity. Long ago, great tragedy struck this region. One legend calls this event the Calamity, but reveals no detail regarding the disaster which unfolded. A brief description of the event is as follows. The mirrors kept in the five shrines broke and the dead returned from hell. I wonder what sort of disaster it must have been, because the passage can't be literal. Uh, I mean, weirder things have happened in these games. Else here. Okay, looks like not. Yep, okay, guess we're good. Uh oh, something's going down or up or whatever. I hear a ghosty. Ah! Okay. I'll forgive you, just don't hurt me. Oh, 
floor. Calamity Jadova, huh? huh. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, of course people aren't going to assume that's literal. I mean, some paper just had de the dead came back from hell. Like, okay. They're probably just thinking, like, ghosts came out of a hell pit kind of thing, like in Fatal Frame 2. That's probably what they're, th what they're thinking of, or probably what happened. Because usually this stuff is indeed literal. But yeah, usually it's not zombies, it's ghosts. Because some luckily we don't do zombies in Fatal Frame. Okay, let me save. Because, yeah, don't want to have some boss fight or something. What was that? I heard something. Okay. Either I'm hearing things or the game is just very ambient. I think we're almost done with this chapter. Hey, this game isn't like a very long game, so, you know. Although I might add some time to it with getting lost every now and then or something like that. Okay, no more talisman. The force that was guarding the door is shut is gone. Or holding the door shut is gone. Yeah, that that's true. I mean, it seems like maybe they wanted to keep it a secret, given, like, how the ritual was, like, kind of hush-hush and stuff, so. You gotta wonder a bit about that one. Whoa, hey. Bloodstain? What the hell? Okay. Uh, trail of blood. Great. Oh, hi. Woman on porch. Okay. Guess I'll just follow you, person with the blood trail for no reason, because you're a ghost. Okay, here's an item, so several pieces of paper, black notebook. September 13th, 3 p.m. Tomoe's condition is getting worse and worse. She can't stop shaking, and she keeps mumbling the same words over and over. I don't know if what's happening is anything supernatural or not, but in any case, I think we'd better leave as soon as possible. Tomoe is in such bad shape, she can't even move. I guess I'll have to look for a way out of here myself. Even if we waited for help, I doubt anyone would ever come looking for us. Well, Mafuyu did, but, uh, now he's lost, too, apparently, so, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Not sure if the blood stain goes this way or that way. Okay. Seal. With dolls. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, baby crying, great. Yeah, no, no, okay. All right. And water wheel, got it, okay. So, right. Okay, well, can't open that one. Can't open that one. Let's see what's down these steps then, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's the shiny. Another spirit stone. I 
And yeah, that put would have that place would have been put under like freaking lockdown if any any of that was taken literally or even figuratively. I would think like somebody would be like, yeah, we're gonna make sure like something weird didn't happen, and it would be put on lockdown. Okay, here's some there's a shiny on the steps here. Yeah, red tape too. Okay. I keep doing that. Okay, something should be here. Where are you? No. Hmm. Don't go, don't go. Oh, wait, I saw it for like a split second. There, I think. There we go. I wasn't- that didn't look like a man or a woman. It looked like a face in pain. I don't know if I call it a man or a woman, but okay. Alright, let's see if there's anything. Oh, hi. Save me. Oh, well. Now I know which way to go, thanks. Just want to make sure there's nothing over here. Yeah, okay, I was already here, so yeah. So, let's go after Tomoe. <laughs> A parallel universe where ghosts are proven to be real and the world, like, just doesn't care. Okay, that's an interesting uh, thought process. I don't think that's the case, because, I mean, they were even saying, like, Sixth Sense stuff, and, like, you know, if that was the case, then, like, Sixth Sense wouldn't be, like, a big deal. It'd just be like, oh, yeah, I can see ghosts. And you wouldn't need the camera to exercise, like, you would need a special camera to see them. So, yeah, that wouldn't work. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tape. Uh oh. Oh boy, that's not good. tape at my feet. Alright, let's listen to these audio tapes. So, red tape two. September 11th, 8.16pm. We looked all over the mansion, but we still couldn't find Koji. While true that this mansion is huge, I'm certain we would have found him by now. Could we have already left? He's been saying something about more ropes since we took some photos yesterday. September 12th, 9 a.m. I found Koji. His death was just like the one in the mountain village. His head and limbs were severed. I can't believe what's happening. Yeah, the sound mixing is bad on these audio tapes. I don't know, like, who decided, like, that was good sound mixing, because they're, like, so ungodly quiet compared to the rest of the game. I 
And no, like, there's no, like, provable haunted items, I don't think. Like, there's items that are thought to be haunted. But I don't think there's actually haunted items, like, in real life. <laughs> that's, that's dark, Shan. I'm not even repeating that because I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Lantern in the photos lit. Yeah. Can't really do anything about that right now. Let's take a look around here. More film, cool. I don't think I do either. I mean, I'm sure they exist, but I, I don't know any items that are thought to be haunted, now that you mention it. I can't think of anything. I could have sworn there was like a bridge or something around here. Yeah, that's later on. Oh yeah, here it is. Ah, yay, stone mirror. So, revival item in case she dies, the stone mirror. And I think they regenerate in different areas. I can't remember. Like, I know they do in uh, Fatal Frame 2. Like, if you go to certain areas, like, they'll still be the mirror there. If you didn't go grab it in, like, the last chapter, but I don't remember if that happens in this game or not. I mean, some people think that aliens, like, are, like, the explanation for paranormal stuff, from what I've seen. You know, if you go on, go down certain rabbit holes, it's, you know, could be an interesting idea. Okay, that seal's done. Nah, I messed up. Meh. Yeah, I didn't get that photo. There's definitely something. Wait, Nephilim were supposedly aliens? I mean, I think I've heard that before, though. Sounds about right. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw some video about that. Red notebook scrap. September 12th, 1.45 p.m. My sixth sense is telling me some children are playing here. I can't see them, but they keep calling to me. Are they playing tag or hide and seek, maybe? They might be children in that photo. Or might be the children in that photo. September 12th, 4.30 p.m. There were human heads in that room. So many of them. They were cut off by the Himuro family master. They were all trying to tell me something. I never should have come here. I should have trusted that sixth sense of mine. I mean, yeah, you never should have come here. That, that part's true. I'll give her that. Paranormal stuff or not, I mean, bad stuff happened, so can't really argue with the results. Is there something like on the table that I. Okay. Sounds like I can. Hmm. Okay, no. Where is it? Something. 
think I can see here. Okay. Where are you? Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I see. No? Come on, it's here somewhere. Where are you? Aha! There you are. You can barely see her. But, okay, whatever. <laughs> so little sense I can't even verb. Yeah. People like to mix, uh, theories, Shan. Okay, little kids laughing. But no little kids to be seen? Yeah, that's creepy. I think I'd run. I would run. Uh-oh. And as per Fatal Frame tradition, little kids suck. I don't think that was even my controller. I think that was like something the kid did. I don't know how, but okay. Oh, is this one of them? Just missed it too. not. I don't want to play with you. That sounds like a freaking doll, like the, you know, those haunted dolls in horror movies, or like those old, uh, speak and spell things, like, that are messed up. Yeah, okay, this is definitely a power. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Nah, you little brat. Yeah, the video game goes on in my controller. No, it's actually a power. You can stop me for like a second. Like, if you don't cap, if you don't do that shot right at the zero frame, it messes up. almost dead, so I can get her. Gotcha. Just. I hate little kids in these games. Little kids are always the worst. I kind of don't want to use my medicine, but I kind of do. I don't know. I don't trust it. No, ghosty. No, 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 run, 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 run. I'm definitely using medicine now. Okay, there we go.
Ha! Nice. Flawless victory. But I wasn't sure, so better safe than sorry. And I got a lot of uh, herbal medicines anyway, so yeah. Okay. Ah, so now I got the lighter. Okay. Black notebook scrap. September 14th, 10 a.m. That woman that Tomoe called Kyrie looks just like the description of the rope shrine maiden in the legends. And there's a strong resemblance, too, between the way Tomoe and Ogata died and the manner of the deaths in the folklore. So that woman is the rope shrine maiden, is she? Okay. Nope. I almost missed something. Red notebook scrap. The mirror is breaking. Smash! A broken mirror. People on the floor. All over the mansion. So many people. All those people! What are they running from? And then at the end, with such desperate looks on their faces. Something's coming this way from deep within the mansion. A coldness. It's colder than anything I've ever felt. I don't know anymore if this is a dream or real. Burn the place down. I mean, yeah, that, that should, I mean, it would probably catch on fire pretty quick. There's a lot of wood. So yeah, probably not the probably not the worst idea ever. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I probably would make the ghost angrier. So fair enough. But this is starting to run pretty long, and uh, not quite sure when the chapter's over. I think it's pretty close to over, but I'm just gonna go save and wrap it up, because, yeah, I'm getting a bit worn out now. My throat's getting dry and stuff, and like, my mouth's a bit dry. So, yeah. But I've had fun, and I mean, probably you know, fun in both the horrible way and the kind of funny way of all the weird jokes you guys have made. So I do appreciate that. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, this isn't a bad uh, timeline, I think. And plus, I don't want to, like, get all the game, you know, done, like, super quick. But, uh, yeah, that should about do it for tonight. But I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have too. And thank you all for joining me. And take care. Matane!